Good morning, everybody. This is another volume of Carmine from New York Teaches Photography. Today we're going to show the PowerFilm 35mm film scanner. This is it. This is it in action. All right. Uh, as you can see here, I'll show you the screen. Okay. This is the... Uh, right now I'm doing black and white negatives. Uh, I'm using uh, the PowerFilm scanner from Pacific Image Electronics. Uh, the software is CyberView PF135. There's not very many videos or information out there on YouTube about this. Uh, it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, it's uh, Is it fast? No. But it gives you very high quality scans without having to set up your uh, copy stand and your digital camera. It works very well. It's pretty simple. You load the uh, your negative strip in here. It automatically catches it. It scans it, it comes out here, and you can put uh, your whole roll, meaning six frame strips, you can load them all into the uh, batch feeder here, but uh, experience that I have uh, proves that it's easier, faster, less complicated, less jamming, if you just put in one strip at a time, okay? Uh, these are some shots I took yesterday um, in New York. And uh, let me just give you a few tips about using the PowerFilm film scanner. First thing you do is when you want to scan, you plug in the power and turn it on without plugging in the USB cord. And what that does is you turn the power on and this light here okay uh it has to warm up it takes about two minutes you want this light to go steady right now it's blinking because it's in operation but you want this light to go steady for about two minutes okay and then you plug in the usb cord in the back right this is your pet or this is your usb it looks like a printer cable okay and then you turn on your uh you start the app and you get right into it all right you have your choice of well this 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 strip is finished okay so i'll put that in the pile of done this is good you guys get to see the loading okay so you take another strip okay you put it in the back of the machine you slide it down until right there see it says no film now watch as i push it down film detected you stop pushing it down with your mouse you click scan another batch and as you'll see in a second it will catch the film and it will start scanning it there we go it brings it down it scans it and it's a little noisy it's, it's always that way it makes all different kinds of sounds this is the feeding sound that it's feeding and then it stops And then it starts the scan. It's very meticulous. It's a 24 megapixel scan. Okay. And you check your screen. Okay. It says scanning. And you will see slowly on the, there it is, on the left hand side, there's your negatives right there. Very slow, very methodical. You could put it on quick, you have many choices. You could put it on fast. Scanning low resolution if you want to go quicker um, If I'm gonna take my time and take photographs and scan them and put them on 
my website, callmytaverna.com, and print them and make YouTube videos and try and teach a class on how to scan, I'm certainly not going to use low resolution. I'm going to use the best resolution. Uh, what else can I say? These units, these power film scanning units, uh, they're expensive. They're several hundred dollars. Um, see if you can get one second hand. Save yourself a little money. I don't, I've never seen them for sale yet used. Um, I got mine at B&H. I paid cash. They didn't give me anything. Okay. Do I recommend it? Yes. Do I recommend it? For somebody that shoots one roll of film a month, no. It's too expensive for that. Um, you got to shoot more than one roll of film a month, 35 millimeter film a month, to uh, to be able to justify an expense like this. I'm shooting currently about five to seven rolls of film a week. So you can see that's of just 35 millimeter plus an additional. I don't know, three rolls of 120 medium format film a week. All right, so that's a close up view of the Power Film 35 millimeter film scanner uh, by Pacific Image Electronics. The software is CyberView PF135. And this is my system, right? I put in one strip at a time. As they come out, I make another pile. When I'm all done, I put it in the uh, glassine envelope, uh, listing the camera. In this case, it was the Nico Mat, not Nikkor Mat, the Nico Mat film camera with a 135 Nikko lens. The film I'm scanning today is Fomapan 100. Uh, so far, so good. I like the film so far. Uh, the date was yesterday, November 17th, where I shot this. I went over to Richmond Town. They have a nice historic section. It's on Staten Island. And let's go back. We'll take another look at the side of you. You can see the light inside, shining the light through the negative onto the uh, sensor. This is just like a digital camera. It has a sensor. It has a light source. It's basically taking photographs of your negatives, right? Now, if you remember what uh, we spoke about last in the last volume, uh, you do not need to purchase a program to open up your uh, negatives and turn them into positives. If you have a PC, if you have a Windows computer, you open them up in Paint for free. You open them up in Paint for free. Here's a nice shot of inside the scanner. Um, you just click, you put your negative in Paint, you click Select All, you right click Invert the Color, boom, turns it into a positive, then you save your file and you're all done. There you go. There's a nice close-up view that I have never seen before on any YouTube video or even from the manufacturer. You can actually see the film being scanned right there. There you go. It's nice and slow. Um, if you get this scanner, uh, you must, I repeat, must get a... Uh, like a shower cap to put over this while you're uh, not using it to keep the dust from infiltrating inside. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's coming out nicely. This is this is may seem slow because it is slow. I have it on a very high resolution. Okay. Um, so there you go. This has been the. Power film, 35 millimeter film scanner. Now remember, this is not just for black and white. This will scan black and white negatives. This will scan color negatives. This will scan uh, color slide film. 
you just have to click on the program when it opens up what you would like it also has uh, a lot of options if you'll see here on the screen um, magic touch okay magic touch if you click that it will remove dust and any scratches the next one below that says multi-pass exposure it will run the strip through and then through again and again and uh, it will uh, compile a gorgeous negative that just takes too much time and uh, this is a wonderful program and like I said uh, the, the software you, you download it once you buy your unit you just download it um, a few months ago these were selling for 500 on B&H Photo uh, I, that was today's November 18th 2021 I don't know uh, what they're going for today I imagine exactly the same around 500 bucks uh, it's a wonderful wonderful scanner let's get another close up in there there we go End of the strips coming out. Right there. You can see how slowly it moves. I'll put it right there. That is how slow it moves when you have it on high resolution. And you know what? Well worth it. Well worth it. All right, guys. So this has been a demonstration of PowerFilm 35mm film scanner brought to you by Pacific Image Electronics. The software is CyberView PF135. Uh, I purchased this. <laughs> this was not given to me, loaned to me. Um, I have no stock in the company. I'm not their employee. I am just a photojournalist who wants good scans of 35mm film. Alright guys, call me from New York. Have a great day. And don't forget, please subscribe. You can comment below. See, now it says scan another batch. Uh, comment below. Uh, you can send me an email at blackandwhitephoto at aol.com go to my website you'll see these pictures today or tomorrow on carmitaverna.com it's a website of just my photographs with a little explanation of the gear and don't forget please subscribe I'm shooting for 1,000 subscribers okay guys call me from New York teaching photography